In January, it was announced that Princess Kate had undergone planned abdominal surgery. Despite the palace explicitly stating she would not return to public duties until after Easter, much speculation surrounding her whereabouts and health status has ensued. Theories and gossip have ramped up recently, and while they remained isolated on social media, both UK and US media outlets have started to publish insider information that in some cases debunks and in others, supports some theories. Recently, photos appeared of Kate being very happy with William and the three children at Adelaide Cottage. Many fans are excited that Kate is gradually recovering her health and is living happily with her small family. Kate Middleton and Prince William's home in Berkshire is a huge downsize on the previous home, claims royal expert. The couple moved into Adelaide Cottage with their three children last summer. The Wales family moved to the four-bedroom home, which sits near St George's Chapel on the grounds of Windsor Great Park, to afford their children more privacy and to be closer to Kate's family. They also moved to be closer to the late Queen who spent the last few years of her life at Windsor Castle. The five of them moved there from the large apartment 1A at Kensington Palace, a move which royal experts described as unprecedented. Roberta Fiorito and Rachel Bowie, who run the podcast Royally Obsessed, spoke about the royal move. The host said, they're supposedly moving into Adelaide Cottage which is such a downsize. It's really low-key, just four bedrooms supposedly. It's supposed to be almost like a little schoolhouse, so it's really unprecedented that they're making this choice. They also added that the move had caused some controversy and criticism, saying, there is a lot of uproar because Robert Jobson was saying that the Cambridges had £12 million worth of renovations done to Kensington Palace 1A to make it family-oriented and livable for them and their kids. The promise was that they'd be there for the long haul. The couple also own Anma Hall in Norfolk which they tend to occupy around the Christmas period. They added, but to have three furnished homes, I think the taxpayers are a little miffed about this. So far Princess Kate has only given one small glimpse into her Windsor home, with a video she posted about the struggles of coping with addiction. After the clip was posted Deepa Mater Sagar, an interior designer and decorator who founded and runs Area Decor LLC, spoke to Express.co.uk about the decor of Adelaide Cottage. She said, the sofa is traditional with clean lines which lend it a regal look. The whole space comes alive with a splash of red, and floral tossed cushions, which add warmth. It's formal yet inviting and makes for the perfect spot from which the couple can air interviews. Recently, Prince William accidentally revealed one of his, sweet, nicknames for Kate, the Princess of Wales during an, emotional, public appearance. The Prince and Princess of Wales have introduced all three of their children to the public shortly after their births on the steps of the Lindo Wing at St Mary's Hospital in central London. During their first press call following the birth of their eldest son, Prince George, in 2013 William let slip one of the monikers he uses for Kate. The first in line to the throne was seen to be very affectionate, as he guided his wife towards the press, referring to her as Poppet before addressing reporters outside the hospital. Entertainment reporter Ashley Pearson recalled the incident in Royalty TV's documentary The Future of the Monarchy. Reviewing footage of the historic event, Pearson said, they looked absolutely in love. As William and Kate were leaving their press call, when they came out with the baby, he was seen to be very affectionate with her, he had his hand in the small of her back. And he called her, Poppet, so now we know one of his sweet names of endearment for his lovely wife. The couple briefly spoke with the press to share their first response to having become parents, describing the situation as 